Hi everyone, so in today's video we will see that how we can set up an auto reply on any distribution list in Office 365. As uh, many of you are already aware of the fact that we cannot set up an auto reply on any DL in Office 365 because it doesn't have a, uh, have a mailbox. So we will try to make some changes so that we can acquire this and um, we will do this with the help of exchange powershell module and we will be having two points more here which i will discuss later so the basic idea will be that uh, we cannot get the auto reply directly from the distribution list so we will try to achieve that through one member of the distribution list what i'm trying to say is whenever the sender will send an email to the distribution list the members of that distribution list will get the email and uh, we will set up one member of that distribution list with an auto reply so that whenever any mailbox of that uh, any member of the distribution list is receiving the email it will send back the auto reply to the original sender so uh, this will be the basic idea we will be working on but there is one issue here that uh, this is not how this works on microsoft exchange server to make this work we will have to make one change but before making that change let me show you what i am talking about so i have decided to create a shared mailbox so that i can save one license because shared mailbox doesn't need a license to um, to set up the mailbox and that will be named as auto reply the original sender will be bravo charlie and there will be the distribution list named as test dl the shared mailbox will be the member of test dl so uh, let me show you the setup here so this is my distribution list uh, here this is the shared mailbox auto reply so i have added auto reply to this uh, test dl i will save this now <coughs> here is the setup here is bravo charlie and auto reply so i will send an email from bravo charlie to auto reply but before that uh, sorry i will send the email from bravo charlie to test dl and that will uh, uh, pass the message, the email to auto reply. But before that, let me set up an auto reply on the auto reply mailbox, shared mailbox. So here is it. I have opened the settings for the auto reply shared mailbox, organize email, auto automatic reply. And I am setting this. This is the message. I will save this. Okay, so let me get to Outlook. I will now send an email to test distribution list test for auto reply 1 so uh, we should be receiving an email from bravo charlie to the test dl and then to auto reply but we will be not we will not be able to receive the auto reply to bravo charlie as you can see we haven't received it yet so let me show you the change I was talking about. I will uh, I will open a Microsoft admin portal on Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer because only there you can download the Exchange PowerShell module. I will head to Exchange Admin Center Hybrid and then I will click Configure under Exchange Online PowerShell module. I will click Configure. This will download uh, this will download the module. Let me open up this okay so I have already downloaded this so this did, uh, didn't take any time let me connect to my office portal and the command will be like this and uh, this is pretty good if you have set up the MFA also so you can use this in case of MFA also pass the password let us wait a moment um, okay we are connected now now let me uh, do that change so we will set the property of distribution group the command will be like this and the option will be send OOF message to originator enabled. We will set this value to true. So 
this is done, get distribution group. Let us check if it's properly set. Copy, paste. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is enabled. Now uh, we will see if we will be able to send, get back the auto reply. So let me send the email to test distribution list, test for auto, auto reply to. Okay. I have sent the email from Robert Charlie to the test distribution list. And it should, uh, the email should be received by auto reply, as well as there should be an auto reply sent to Robert Charlie. And here we are. We have received the automatic reply for the email we sent. So this is how it worked. <coughs> now, let me come to the points I was talking about. So we, here we have two points, server side, client side. So uh, the auto reply we set up on the auto reply shared mailbox was with the help of server side rule. In this case, whenever the original sender is sending an email to the distribution group or to the shared mailbox, every sender if sending 200 300 emails a day they will receive only one auto reply for 24 hours uh, for the 24 hours means for the whole day they will only receive one reply even if they are sending hundreds of thousands of emails so in in case you have the requirement where you want that whenever anyone is sending email to the distribution list they should uh, they should receive auto reply for every email thousands, hundreds, lakhs, any number. So in that case, we will have to set up the auto reply rule via client side. So let me show, let me first remove the uh, auto reply from here. So when we set up auto reply uh, through admin portal, we are setting it up to the server side. And when we are using Outlook Office application to set up any rule, in that case, it is known as client side rule. So now let me set up the rule here. I will select auto reply. I will create a new rule for every message I receive, which is uh, sent to a public or group, and the group will be test here. Have, th have that server reply using a specific message. And this is a really cool feature. You can even mention the subject here, but I don't need to do that because I want the original subject of the email to be seen. So this is an auto generated reply from client side rule. You will receive reply for every email. Okay. So this is pretty much pretty much done finish I will apply this and now I will send as many as uh, as many as email I want and I will get auto reply for every email so let me send the email three send one more just to make sure it's working five okay so we have sent three emails which are three four and there will be one more yeah five and i have received a reply for every email three four and five so um, this is what I was talking about uh, and um, I think we have covered everything about this. So in case you have any queries or any questions or maybe any doubts, if you get stuck in anything in this process, let me know in the comment, let me know in the comment section.